Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Linux command line tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will learn how we can use cd command in Linux. cd command we can use to change the current working directory in Linux. So let's see how we can use it. So first of all, I'm going to press Ctrl Alt T to open my terminal. And then I'm going to uh, just use uh, the command. So first of all, let's see the syntax of a CD. So you can just use a CD as it is and it can be used with the directory name also. So you can just write there here, right? So first of all, whenever you give the CD command as it is, it's going to uh, land you in the current home directory, right? So you see it's the home whatever you open whenever you uh, open the terminal for the first time it will uh, you know land you there right and then for example you want to uh, go to somewhere for example we want to uh, change directory to the root directory as we have seen in the first video root directory is this forward slash and then press enter and now we are in the root directory and you know you are in your root directory by this uh, forward slash here and uh, by default you have this tilde which is a home uh, yeah, right so first of all let's see in which directory we are so we are uh, in a root directory so we will just give pwd and see if uh, we are in that directory or not so you can see we are in root directory right now once again if you give uh, cd and then this uh, tilde uh, symbol then this means your home directory home directory is uh, nothing but your home slash username right so once again i give this command and then once again i give the pwd command and you can see we are in now our home directory right so this tilde can be used also with cd command right now there is a command of something like cd dot dot and it means we want to go to the parent directory of the current working directory so for example our current working directory is home slash uh, programming knowledge which is my username so when i give a cd dot dot then we will go one folder above or parent of the current folder so i will just uh, press enter and now you can see we are in the home uh, folder so i will just once again give pwd and now we are in the home folder so we go one folder above right in a same way for example i will once again go to my uh, home directory by cd tilde and then for example i want to uh, ls first let's see ls and uh, what are the directories and documents in this folders so in uh, my home directory we have a desktop or document folder or uh, other folders right so to uh, go inside those folder or to change the directory for example to the document folder you can just write cd and then document okay so just write cd document something like this and you will go to the documents folder once again i will go to my home folder by just uh, give giving the cd command and then you can also go to the documents folder by just giving its absolute path so you can just give uh, cd home then uh, my username which is programming knowledge and then the documents folder okay so you can either give the absolute path which is home uh, username uh, documents for example or you can give the relative path something like uh, cd document this is the relative uh, path right so we are already in the document so we will go home and then we can say cd uh, documents and we will go to the documents folder right so you can give uh, absolute path or the relative path related path is nothing but so for example i do ls and 
whatever directory you see uh, inside your present working directory you can just directly give uh, the name of uh, that directory so for example cd and then uh, i can just uh, give uh, download at this time and press enter and we are in the downloads right now the next command is going to the the directory inside the directory so for example uh, let's go to our home and let's clear the screen for now and uh, let's see what we have in our uh, document folder so I will just go to the document folder and I will just do ls and uh, in here I have uh, the two files but for example I will create one more uh, folder here inside a documents folder so I will just go inside the documents folder and I will create a new folder for example I will say it's a book folder books folder okay and I want to go inside this folder so how I can do this I can just do cd which will uh, change the directory to the home directory and I can just give uh, the command cd documents and then books something like this so you can uh, go in the books by giving this command and press enter and we are inside this books folder and then right now it has no files but for example I want to create a document I will say just uh, test dot uh, txt files right so dot txt file and uh, I will just do ls and you see we have the txt file test dot txt file now next command is for example I want to navigate inside this books folder and I will create one more folder there is a command to create a directory by the way but uh, this uh, command we are going to see in the later videos that's why I'm not showing you this command right now and I'm going to uh, use this graphical view to create my folder so for example I will say this is mm, my books folder okay and if you observe I have left a space between my and books right and I left the space intentionally so when I do ls here it will uh, show me there is a folder called my books but if you uh, create a folder or directory with uh, my book for with a space then how you can navigate to this uh, directory for example I will do my uh, CD and then I will just uh, you know write my books and press enter and it will give me the error because CD is just looking for the first uh, you know argument after the CD command and if it's a space there are two arguments after the cd command so how you can go inside the folder which has space between it there are three options you can use to navigate such kind of folder first option is you can just write cd and then do my and then you give this backslash and then you give books for example something like this and when you press enter you will uh, go inside this my books folder okay I will go once again one folder above and the second option is instead of uh, using this uh, backslash you can just write double quote and then you can just write my books okay and press enter and also you are in your my books folder right once again I will go back one folder ahead and the third option how you can uh, go uh, inside this folder of directory which has uh, the space between it you can just give single quote around your uh, directory name so press enter and also you are in the same directory okay so what are the command we have used today or we have learned today so I will uh, just uh, clear the terminal and I will once again tell you what are the commands we have learned so cd command if you give then you will go to your home directory okay so I will give cd and I'm in my home directory 
Now, in order to navigate to a particular directory, I need to give its absolute path or relative path. So, for example, I want to go to root. I will just say uh, cd forward slash root and I'm in the root folder. Once again, I will go to my home folder. And for example, I want to go to cd user bin. Okay, so I will give its absolute path and I'm in the CD user bin and I can just list out all the content of uh, this folder by Alice which we have seen in the last video. I will uh, clear the terminal once again. The next command is the relative path. So for example, I will once again go to my home directory and I will just say CD and uh, I want to navigate to documents so I can just uh, give CD documents or if I want to go uh, one folder inside this document I want to navigate to the books folder I can just give uh, this uh, type of uh, you know command and press, press enter and we are in the books folder now we have created a folder with a space between its name then you can use a CD and then either you can use a backward slash between the space or you can enclose this name between double quotes or single quotes and you will be inside that directory and you can work with it so i hope you enjoyed this video please wait comment subscribe and bye for now